what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a quick hands-on on the Ficom Passion 2S. As you may know I've received a couple of Ficom smartphones like the Energy L review or at least unboxing will come very soon but here we have something which is more high-end from Ficom and it's the Passion 2S running in Snapdragon 810 processor with a price point of around $350 so this seems to be reasonable priced. So let's talk a bit about the specs of this phone. As I've told you Snapdragon 810 and 5 5.5 inch full HD resolution Samsung Super AMOLED screen. So the screen looks absolutely beautiful and really sharp. Then regarding the LTE bands, um, it's 800, 900, 1800, 2100 and 2600, so should also work in Europe. Then regarding the cameras, it has a Sony IMX 230 on the backside. So this is a 21 megapixel sensor with um, autofocus and everything, dual tone LED flash as you can see. And actually a real nice looking body. Now the front facing camera, it's 8 megapixels. And yeah, I'm not really sure about that, so it seems to be kind of small, but 8 megapixels, nothing special these days anymore. 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of ROM. For sure, dual SIM like most of those Chinese smartphones, and here you can see the SIM card slots, but also supports micro SD cards. Okay, then the battery size, I think I have already mentioned it, it's 3000 milliamp hours, and it runs Android 5.1. The cool thing is it has um, that 2.5D arc screen, featuring also Corning Gorilla Glass, not really sure what the Chinese thing here right now was, but we have capacitive touch buttons and no, oh sorry, we have um, softer buttons and no capacitive touch buttons. Part of yesterday was so hard, so I'm still a bit drunk, I think. Um, on the right side, we have kind of small bezels, but it's a bit curved, and we have here like a black bar, two millimeters on each side, looks okay. Um, here we have lighter proximity sensor, earpiece, front facing camera, so it's calling Gorilla Glass on the front side and seems to be quite stable. Backside, let's continue. Ficom logo right over here and what I've told you before, the 21 megapixel sensor. Um, camera sticks out of the device a bit, looks a bit strange to me, but yeah, it, it should be okay. Now let's have a look here at the USB port. So it's micro USB, it's unfortunately not USB Type-C, would be actually um, more a killer feature on this uh, reasonable low price smartphone. On the left and right side we have the speaker grids, but it's a single one as always. But it says here DTS sound, I'm not really sure, but I guess it's a single one. Um, yeah, okay, that's basically it. Then let's have a closer look here at the UI. So it's a bit customized, no app draw anymore, but for sure it's Android, just install a different launcher, and there you go. We can have also a quick look here at the settings to see what we have in here. So also this looks a bit customized. Um, yeah, here we have the network connection, so there is no NFC, there is no hot knot. We have your sound settings, we have your display settings, okay, nothing special, and here we have other settings. And let's have a look at that. So there is no fingerprint scanner, but okay, there's screen gestures, um, yeah, the usual Android stuff, and after sales service, all right. That's it, so that was just a quick hands-on here on the Passion 2S. All in all, a really reasonable priced phone with the basic sensors like G-sensor, light sensor, proximity sensor, but it also has an um, air pressure sensor and the whole sensor, not really sure if those things are working because we don't have internet access, we can't download the anything. But for sure, we're going to do a review, so you will see the review of the Energy L very soon. And we're also looking forward to the Passion S because um, this company actually sells in um, Germany too, so you will have actually support in Germany, um, warranty in Germany, and that's pretty good. So if there's something wrong with your smartphone, it's maybe a little bit more expensive than some other phones from China, but if there's something wrong with the phone, you can easily send it back to Germany. Okay, that was a quick hands-on. Um, what I forgot to mention about the body probably, it has a metal body here, so you can see it here on the left side, and the top here plastic for the antennas, and front to back completely with Corning Gorilla Glass. All in all, the phone feels very good in my hands, and I can't wait to do the full review. So stay tuned for my review, see you soon in the next one, have a nice day guys, and bye-bye.